Hey everybody, my name is Liz and I'm a farmer and I work for SARE here in the North Central region. Uh, you might be wondering what the heck SARE is and that's exactly what this video tutorial series is all about. We want to tell you who we are and what our grants are uh, and how you can apply. If you're new to SARE, you need to know the basics. SARE stands for Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education. That's exactly what we fund. We fund on-farm, farmer-driven research, and we're specifically interested in projects at the center of this Venn diagram. So things that are economically viable, ecologically sound, and socially responsible. We fund projects that are farmer-driven. So farmers are not an afterthought. We're at the center of identifying the problem and the solution of testing out the ideas, of sharing out what we've learned, of creating demonstrations. In fact, some of our grants go directly to farmers to test out innovative ideas and demonstrate innovative practices on their farms and share with their peers. And here's a note on outreach. Anything you learn during a SARE grant is non-proprietary. That means that it is open source. Uh, the whole point is for you to learn a thing and share it out with others. Strong applications lay out how they'll share what they learn with the broader farming and agricultural community. We want your work to ripple out and to push farming forward. But that's enough for me. Let's hear from some past SARE grantees about how they describe a SARE grant. Buju, Amber Indigenous Cause, here to tell you that the Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program through NIFA is so easy to work with for first time grantees. As one myself and working for a tribal organization on food sovereignty initiatives, this program was a great start for us to look at growing our capacity and infrastructure and look at how we could also support other tribes in our area. The program has an amazing staff that are willing to go the extra mile to help you submit your application and really look at how they can help you better those impacts and opportunities for your community. There is an online submission, but again, it's very efficient and easy to work with. And so I really encourage you that once you do submit a SARE grant, it won't be your last and you will always be a SARE ambassador. Hi, I'm Drew Gogler. I'm a farmer and rancher in Southwest North Dakota. I received a SARE grant on investigation of bale grazing with the incorporation of sheep with my cattle. SARE has allowed me to be creative in my investigation and share the, the findings with others. Hi, this is Curtis Millsap. I'm a farmer in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, we've had a number of SARE grants over the years and they've all been really helpful in us uh, exploring alternatives that we wouldn't necessarily want to take the risk ourselves for. So things that we would have been a little bit afraid to take the financial risk or the labor risk. And SARE has been a great partner in helping us explore those opportunities, take those risks, and then find out the results and share them with the wider sustainable ag group. Thank you.